In today's golf lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can hit down on the golf ball more with all of your irons. Now, I've seen loads of golf tips on this, but I don't feel they break it down as good as this one and as simply as this one because I know you can take this straight to the golf course and get those instant results. So what I want you to be really conscious of doing is as we start down, our front knee moving more towards target before it turns around, okay? Now, the reason for this is, a lot of golfers are so bothered about getting open, we get open and then we tend to lean back. Now that has huge issues on where you're gonna contact the ground. Now, let me show you, right? So if I just put my golf club in my sternum like this, and I lean back, and if where this golf club hangs represents the bottom of my arc, so essentially, where the club hits the ground, you can see that's behind the golf ball. Now, if we add that little bit of movement towards target and then turn, where's my bottom of the arc now? It's ahead of the golf ball. Now, that simply means this. Look, if my bottom of the arc, so where it's touching the ground is ahead, look how I would come down, hit the ball, then work into the turf. That's exactly what we're looking to do. So to do this, I've broken this down into a simple drill. You can start training right away. So I've broken this drill down into five little mini steps. And for this drill, you're gonna need another golf club. So address your golf ball. And just before we get into this, be very conscious of your ball position. I tend to see people who lack compression. We tend to get the ball a little bit too close to our front foot. So just knock it back a little bit, move it that way, okay? Now, all you need to do for step number one, to set this drill up, I've got seven iron here, so you'll notice my ball position is just ahead of center. All I need you to do now is place this second golf club roughly a club head inside your lead heel, okay? So so this is not representing ball position at all. Not representing ball position at all, okay? Step one. Step two, I just want you to get some feelings for this. So you're gonna make a backswing, and I want you to get a feeling of shifting your left knee ahead of this line, or getting that sensation of your belt buckle going over this line, okay? So all you're gonna do is this to start down, that. Now you can see here, where's my chest still pointing? In this direction. So step two is this, this, this. Bringing step three into this now, we're gonna go and push and turn, and then we're gonna go through. So can you see that? We've got in step three, as we're pushing towards target, getting your belt buckle to sit on top of this line, we're turning then. So watch that, this is step one, step two, and step three all together. Can you see how I've got myself moving in this direction? And simply, that is me getting my bottom of the arc ahead of the ball. Okay, two more steps. See how easy this is to bring in. Two numbers I wanna to say to you right now is 5% shift, 95% turn. So step number four, okay, just check yourself on that drill setup, club head inside. I want to get that feeling of 5% shift, 95% turn. Just make some practice swings now, bringing all those elements in to your swing. Now, I would say do these at around, I don't know, gear two, gear three, if gear five was your fastest, so we're not trying to hit it as hard as we can. We're just trying to get some awareness of what we're trying to do. Okay, so step four is just make some practice things without any consequence, without hitting a shot. So step five is hitting some shots. Now I've got this down here, my launch monitor, and it's gonna show a negative angle of attack is what we're looking for, because that's just hitting down like this. Right, here we go. So I'll get my setup, club on the ground, club head inside my left heel with the club set up, Get my ball position for the club that I've got. So move it back there. Right, okay. Watch this negative angle of attack. Oh, could you hear the crunch on that, by the way? That felt absolutely 
crisp. And honestly, all I was thinking about there was 5% shift, 95% turn. And think about that process, look at this. I told you it would be a negative, and that's why I hit it. Go back to the start of this video with the hoop. Negative, down on the ball, and that's the way to do it. Thanks so much for watching.